nominate Mike Finnegan, the executive director of the Department of Veterans Affairs. Uh, Mike retired from the United States Navy and the Colonel. Uh, after 31 years of honorable service, I always think of trouble that comes to the Army and the Navy at that point in time. So, uh, the Army's a good second choice. His acting duty included multiple combat deployments in Iraq, Afghanistan, as well as assignments in Africa, Europe, and Asia, where he served in leadership positions. His education includes master's degrees in international relations, public administration, and strategic studies. Just as our veterans have given us their best, we need to do the same for them. I'm confident that Mike is the best person to lead this agency and advocate on behalf of our veterans. Uh, is there a motion to confirm my appointment of Mike Pritchard as the executive director of the Department of Veterans Affairs at his current salary? Governor, this is Commissioner Putnam, and uh, I can't think of a, a better fighter for our returning men and women coming home to Florida and with our strong military presence in this state. We have more than our fair share of veterans coming back home to Florida. Uh, and Mike's going to be the leader to, to be there for them and, and make sure that they're able to avail themselves of all the benefits that they have uh, so richly earned and sacrificed so much to receive. So I, I, I move uh, that Mike Prendergast uh, be the executive director of the Florida Department of Veterans Affairs. Uh, Dr. McKinley, you are the new Executive Director of Veterans Affairs. Uh, would you like to take your word? Yes, Governor, I, I would. Thank you very much. Uh, before I begin my comments, I'd, I'd like to uh, thank our brave firefighters uh, from our, our Division of Forestry here in the state of Florida. We lost two brave men today, or this week, I'm sorry, uh, who were fighting valiantly to protect life and property. And uh, it's an unfortunate circumstance that these uh, brave men uh, did die uh, while they were in the line of duty supporting our state. Uh, it is a very dangerous time right now across our state, Commissioner Putnam, and uh, we cannot do enough to thank those brave men and women who helped protect us uh, when wildfires hit our state. Uh, and it's going to be, a, uh, until we get some more rainfall, it's going to continue to plague our state with some challenges. Uh, so our, my, on behalf of my wife and I and, and our family, our hearts do go out to those firefighters' families and uh, thank them for their brave service to the state. Uh, Governor Scott, General Bondi, Commissioner Putnam, and CFO Atwater, thank you for scheduling uh, today's hearing so expeditiously. I'm deeply honored by your endorsement to serve as the Executive Director of the Florida Department of Veterans Affairs, and I deeply appreciate the confidence of this cabinet, and I remain fully committed to this challenging task of serving the people of the great state of Florida. With your support, I am confident we will succeed in delivering the world-class support that our brave men and women who have served from World War II to the present conflicts so richly deserve and have earned on the fields of battle, protecting our nation, the greatest nation on the face of earth. Thank you for this support. Thank you for allowing me this opportunity to continue my service to the state of Florida. God bless all of you members of the cabinet. God bless those firefighters families who gave their life uh, in the line of duty this week. God bless the great state of Florida and God bless the United States of America. Thank you.